The Adams State men's basketball team improved to 3 0 for the first time in over 25 years and reached the century mark for the first time since December 18, 1999, on Saturday night as the Grizzlies wrapped up the 2010 Bankers Classic with a 164 victory over Oakwood University. Five Grizzlies reached double digits in the game, including Shire Lee, who dropped the game high 17, and Seth Heinbaugh scored 15 and grabbed 18 rebounds for a double double. Both Lee and Heinbaugh were named to the all-tournament team for their efforts, with Heinbaugh taking MVP honors. Adam State paced itself evenly, scoring 50 in each half and holding the Ambassadors to just 27 in the first. The Grizzlies hit 36 of 80 shots from the field and were 24 of 35 from the free throw line, while holding Oakwood to 21 of 36 from the field. Uh, and in a lot of areas, we are, are doing pretty good, and, and tonight Seth was special. Uh, his effort, uh, second efforts on the glass, uh, the spirit that he played with, the enthusiasm he carried his team uh, just on his sheer will. Uh, and that's a positive, but there are other things that, quite frankly, we have to get a lot better at and fast if we if we have any hopes of contending uh, in the automatic. Mm -hmm. uh, Seth, uh, talk about a little bit about your performance tonight, about coming out here to uh, <coughs> tournament MVP honors. That's great. Yeah, I, mean, I just I just felt like I uh, just wanted to work hard for my team. I mean, we had a lot of ups and downs tonight, and uh, during those low times in the game, I just felt like I, I had to take it upon myself to really lift our team up, and so I tried to show with the my play to get everybody else around me, you know, motivated and, and get them going with uh, my effort, my play. And I felt like I did that at times, and I mean, uh, um, it was good. I think, like Coach said, we do have a lot of things to, to work on and get better at before our conference starts in a couple weeks. Um, but uh, we have 100% trust in Coach Wilson to get us there, and uh, we'll just take it uh, practice by practice, day by day. Uh, now, I uh, Adam State off to a 3-0 start for the first time in at least 25 years. It's got to be a great feeling. What does it mean uh, for you, Coach Wilson, uh, here in your first season to accomplish that? And Seth is sort of the veteran member of this team uh, to be off to a 3-0 start for the first time in your career here. Well, again, and I, you know, I, one, anytime you win, if, you, if you're jaded and you're so jaded that when you win you can't appreciate it, uh, then you should do something different. So I, I in no way want to convey that I'm not. Uh, but, you know, the 3-0 and start, I think, is I'm happy for the kids. I'm happy for kids like Seth Heinbaugh and, and Nate Ingridson, who are seniors <coughs> who, are, who have worked hard to, to be in this position. That's good. It's a positive thing. But for me, it's really about uh, focusing on getting better, uh, the, the next opportunity, trying to improve our basketball team, to make our team better uh, in all phases of play. So I'm happy for 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 our young men uh, that, that you know they're, they're at three and zero, but I'm also very very conscious of the fact that we have a long way to go and a lot of work to do uh, to get where we would like to ultimately be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Coach said, uh, I've been through the <coughs> highest of highs of the school playing basketball, and I've been at the the lowest of lows. And uh, I really appreciate you know the things that Coach Wilson has put myself and my teammates through. Uh, this year to get us to where we're at and then to get us where we're going to be. And, um, I personally really enjoy and uh, my teammates enjoy the 3-0 start, we're, but we're all willing and eager to get better because we know, I mean, our performance this weekend is not good enough to beat like a Metro State or a Fort Lewis in the RMAC. And, and so uh, we're just going to practice hard and, and trust Coach Wilson and then we'll get there come conference time. Mm -hmm. Now certainly uh, facing a new type of challenge uh, this evening and playing back-to-back uh, -back games here. Uh, what do you think of the uh, where the team's at right now as far as how the schedule is going to be when it gets to conference play? Well, I, you know, going in, my, my thought was that uh, I, I thought that uh, with our style of play and our depth, uh, our playable depth, that playing back-to-back -back would benefit us. Um, Quite frankly, uh, we took a little bit of a step back in terms of, of, of the development of our depth. That's one of my concerns. Uh, we had a lot of people like Seth and Shyar Lee and uh, uh, Marcus Richards and DeRay Wilson play really well for two games. Uh, but we've got to get them some help, and we've got to be able to get them minutes where I can sit them down for a while. And then Robbie Hanslick is another guy who, over the course of two games, he produced. And, and, and quite frankly, yesterday I thought he was the major reason why we won because of the way he guarded uh, their primary offensive player. But we, we got a lot of guys uh, that, that have taken a step back 
in that development with the depth. And as I explained to them tonight, you know, I want them to be very, very confident in themselves. But really, to be honest with you, I want to be confident in them so that we can play them. And if we, the more people we can play in our style, uh, you know, to wear teams down, the more playable depth we have, the better chance we have of being successful. So we've got to get some people better. We've got to have some guys who are willing uh, to work to get better and then to go on the floor and do what they're capable of doing. Now, Seth, you got a full season of these back-to-back -back games coming up. How are you feeling about it? How's the, the team feeling about it, you think? Well, I've, I've been through four years of it. And so, I mean, I'm used to the style of play that, or the, the style of the schedule of the RMAC. And so I feel like today was a good day that we had a back-to-back -to, -back to get guys, you know, used to like, this is how it's going to be for the rest of the year. And so um, I think now they know they have to be at a higher level of condition to do this. And they, they know they have to show up both nights if we want to be successful. And um, like Coach keeps saying, I mean, he knows we're more capable of being better. And uh, as, as a team, we know we can be better. And um, being back-to-back -back nights, I think, I think we will get to the point we need to be. All right. Well, thank you very much, guys, and congratulations. <laughs> Next up for the Grizzlies will be their RMAC opener on the road at Colorado State Pueblo on December 3rd, where the Grizzlies will look to get off to a fast start in conference play.